Hello, welcome to a short haul. This is a DC horror haul. Um, I've been accumulating some of these books over the past four months or so, and it's time to show them. Um, this book came from the collection, okay, the, the current collection that I have been buying, a lot of high grade DC and Marvel. This one is not high grade. It's one of the books from the collection, but I always wanted a raw copy. It's about a seven-ish, but it's beautiful, perfectly centered, nearly, okay? I give it like about a seven, but I probably will give a, a closer look of this book another time. It's worth showing. This one is my favorite buy of the lot, okay? Now this one did not come from the collection, but an insanely hard book to find perfectly centered once again for those that are into DC horror. This book along with all of the number one issue like Ghost, Weird War Tales, they are so tough. Okay, Phantom Strange in number one. All of these books are insanely hard to find in high grade. But I got one. This one is easy nine. Could be nine two, maybe, but there will be a closer look of this book one of these days when I do uh, an author spotlight. But look at that. Just look at that beauty, huh? I love it. Okay, so here is a Bernie Wrightson cover that we don't see often. Okay, uh, it's. Weird Mystery Tale is just one of those title, uh, horror title in DC that didn't get a lot of attention because Bernie Wrightson didn't do a lot of covers, but here is one. Love it. I keep picking up um, New Adams and Bernie Wrightson uh, horror cover whenever I see them. It's upgrade. I don't have this copy in my collection ever, so it was nice to add 187. As well as a House of Secret 84. Now this one whew, is high grade but for those that watch my uh, a video on centering look at that. Yes this one is cut off. The 88 is cut off. Such a tough book. Um, I debated on picking this one up because it's so poorly centered but it's a high grade copy. Let's see what it is. I didn't give it a grade, but I think it's around 9.2 or 9.4. It was cheap. So in the end, I said, why not? Love this. Another Bernie Wrightson cover. The color scheme here is phenomenal. Okay, love it. Uh, I own a low grade copy of this book, so this is a nice upgrade. Stunning, stunning color scheme that just make everything pop. Here is one that took me forever to find for cheap. You know, this is a high grade copy. Probably, did I grade this one? Yeah, I did. I gave it a 9 2. But, you know, I have a reader's copy forever. And every time I see a copy on eBay, it's always too expensive. But now I have one. Didn't pay too much for that either. Here is another. Bernie Wrightson cover that I think is underappreciated because it's on his later run of this title. Um, it's a 25 center, but look at that. Love it. I'm almost done with uh, getting all of the Bernie Wrightson cover for as far as DC horror. I'm almost. I'm missing about six books, I think. Beautiful. Look at that. Here's another one, issue 221. Okay, not something that you see people talk about or show often, but it's another Bernie Wrightson cover. A Neil Adams horror cover. Okay, so if, as always, if I see these books for cheap, I will buy it. And then for those that watch my uh, Wednesday night chat, I did show these three books that I picked up from the CGC forum. And that complete 
the DC Horror Hall. Thanks for watching. Until the next haul. Bye bye.